What's going on guys, it's Ruben here, back again with another video review. And today we're going to be having a look at the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Star-Lord figure. That is right guys, we're going to start doing the reviews over these figures right here. The Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 figures. Um, starting with the first wave, which is the Marvel's Titus Build-A-Figure wave, which only had three of the characters from the actual movie, which I was kind of disappointed with. I was like, oh man, you know, is this it? But then I found out that the, that the next wave, the Mantis Build-A-Figure wave, was going to have the rest of the of the characters from the movie, and I was so excited. I honestly was. Because the main, the main reason why I never really collect the Ant-Man, none of the movie figures, basically like the Ant-Mans or the Avengers um, movie figures, it's because they never make all of them, or at least at the same line, and I don't want to have to keep collecting them from different, you know, lines. They should just have the whole, you know, figure line. And, and it's, I just find it kind of, I just find it kind of irritating. They have like maybe two or three figures from the actual movie, and then the rest are just comic book based figures. Like, come on, guys. That, that's why I always stick to Diamond Select. I mean, I mean, I don't want to brag. I mean, I don't want to like talk smack about them. No, don't get me wrong. Hasbro is a great company and all. But I just I was waiting for a great um for a great line and th they finally brought it to us. Um, so here we have Star Lord. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. This I really I got this figure way back when I when um, they were released. I think it was in maybe February or March, and I did not. Um, I, I cannot find the packaging. I'm gonna be straight honest with you. <laughs> this this is the first one. I didn't bother getting any more. And I was actually okay with this because this figure does not come with a build a figure piece for Titus, and that's good anyway because I'm not really planning on building Titus. So, yeah. And I didn't get the the rest of the figures till way later on. So, yeah, this is my first figure from the. I do have the original Star Lord, which is the only figure that I brought that I actually got from the original way from the first movie. And so yeah, not. No, it was actually that figure. Th that line was actually pretty cool too. They had all the figures too. Except compared to the new figures, they are crap. I just want to say that. I'll, I'll show you here in a sec. I'll show you what I mean. Anyway, yeah, here is the figure. Since I cannot show you the packaging, I'm going to show you the figure. Really, really cool. Love this figure. Love the jacket. Love the the gear shift. Oh, sorry. The His blaster fell off. Um, this actually spells out gear shift. I've looked up research about it. I'm like, what does that say? But yeah, love that shirt. Love how... They have it underneath his leather jacket. That head sculpt, man, it looks just like Chris Pratt, Peter Quill. Love the beard too, man. The beard, they did great on that beard. Look at that. It's all fuzzy and whatnot. And the hair is just great. Really, really good likeness. I'm digging that. I like the boots. Boots are looking cool. I thought they were brown. Apparently on here, they're kind of like a gray color. The pants are brown. The jacket, really cool. So I do want to point out that I am recording this in, you know, before I did the unboxing video. I know I've already uploaded it by now. I've done the unboxing video over the, now you know the um the star the rest of the figure waves. I I the starlord with the trench coat. So right now I cannot show you a comparison with the trench coat version of Star Lord because I do not have it out of the package at the moment. But don't worry, whenever I do the review over that Star-Lord, I will compare all three of my Star-Lord figures that I have. So yeah, really cool. Uh, for accessories, Star-Lord, what you see here is almost what you get. You get the two blasters. And really, really cool. And I'll compare it next to the old blasters here in a second. If I can find it, I'll go back and find it. But yeah, it's got the silver, it's got the gray. And then the gold right there. Really like that. And he has little holsters right here. However, whenever you start moving his hips too much like I did earlier, move his jacket. Yeah, they do tend to pop off. So it's got the little pig, right? And you just pick it right here where the finger trigger is at. There you go. Not bad. His other accessory being the helmet or his mask. Really am digging in this man. Way better than the other one. I'll show you here, the other one here in a little bit. But yeah, really, really cool. And there is no trouble popping off e each head and showing you. They do come off very firmly. I love the gold, man. The gold really pops off. I mean, you know, it stands out. 
And compared to the other one, this is the one from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Oh my god, there's a huge difference. Look at that. It's almost like this head's bigger, but it's also better. They didn't even bother coloring all the gold and like or the silver. Like, man. Look at that. <clears throat> yeah, man, huge difference. I love the gun metal on here better. Here's just pitch black. And to think that back then, this was actually my favorite Star Lord figure until this came out. Yeah, so there you have it. And popping off the head. Very simple. So there you have Star Lord with his helmet on. Do you like pina coladas? Getting caught in the rain. You know that scene. <laughs> yeah. So really cool. Loving this. He does not have the rock the rocket boots. I just noticed that. I wonder why he doesn't have the rocket boots or his backpack. Yeah, so I'll bring out the other Star Lord here right now. Oh, the comparison, dude. Look at that. At the moment, this is actually a pretty cool Star Lord because he has the trench coat. Really cool. I wonder why he doesn't have the backpack anymore on Volume 2. He doesn't have gloves. Doesn't have the backpack. Doesn't have the rocket boots. He has a trench coat, but I don't have the figure open right now. His attire is a bit different. Now let's compare the heads. Oh my god, here we go. You see what I mean? Yeah, looking back at this, this is like literally a toy. This looks like something NECA would do, doesn't it? Yeah, man. I'm really digging this one a lot more, man. Just wow, look at that. Oh, man. However, you can do some head swappage if you, if you do choose so. I've, been, I've done this a lot. I know a lot of people have too. So that is a lot better. Look at that. I've even popped off the mask off of here and put it on this Star Lord. Much, much better, man. Look at that. It looks like from the first movie when he was on that planet, the rain planet, you know, when he got the orb. A lot, lot better, man. I'm really digging this. Makes me want to get two of these figures. And I will actually with the two pack with um, Ego. And yes, I would definitely do some swappage with, I'll make my own custom with this version. My own custom part one version. So yeah, I really am digging this. I'm going to go find the guns real quick from the old Star Lord figure from this one right here. And we'll do some comparison with the guns. I'll be right back. Okay, so I managed to find one out of all my weapon stash from all my other figures. Let me just set him back here. Set him back there as well. Alright, so here is the new one. The new blaster. New Star Lord blaster. And then here is the old one right here. Yeah, so... As you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm not going to lie, it's the same thing. Except they decided to paint more on here to make it stand out. And I'm not going to lie, I thought there were different weapons at first. I thought maybe they were bigger because the heads were bigger. But no, they're the exact same thing except they just painted a little. They just painted the silver on here a bit more. But yeah, that is basically it. Same. I thought the gray was different, you know, like on the masks. But no, gray's, gray's the same. And uh, the gold is the same, as far as I can tell. Like I said, only difference is, is the silver. So, I am digging that. Not bad. Not bad at all. So as much as I like, as I like the helmet, I like to pose them with this on. I'm probably going to pose the other figure, the other Star Lord figure with the helmet on. I do tend to put this one with the new helmet. So, anyway, articulation time. The head does move up that much, does move down that much. It is on the ball joint, so it does rotate. The shoulders go in and out that much. Um, they do rotate at the shoulder. They do rotate at the, so he does have a secret hidden joint right there, you can kind of tell. A, a, he does have a swivel at the muscle. Double bend at the elbow, that is great, always great. Rotation at the wrist and pivot at the wrist. And his hands actually do pop off if you want to. Um, do some swappage or something, I don't know. I know a lot of customs out there. And then he does have the ab crunch, which is always great. Rotation at the waist, great. Um, his, he can do, not the splits, but that's, his legs do separate that much. Do go forward that much, a lot actually. Backwards that much. It does have a thigh cut. Double jointed knees, always great. Rotation at the boot, love that head and articulation, dude. Love it. Uh, his feet do go down that much, up that much, and he does have the ankle pivot. He does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. 
All right, size comparison time, guys. Here is Star Lord next to the other Star Lord from from the first one, and there's Volume Two right here. And yeah, they stand about the same size. Not bad at all. So yeah, I mean, huge difference. Like I said before, I don't want to say this is crap, but it kind of is. This is way better. Loving it. Loving it. And then here is Star Lord next to Yondu or Blue Merle from Volume Two. The exact same line. Yeah, this is one of the only figures that I got from the line. Just I got these two, and then I got Drax. By the way, Yondu is the next figure that I'm gonna be, that I'm going to be reviewing. But yeah, they are the same size as well. And then here is Star Lord next to Drax. Drax is a bit taller, just a little bit taller. But yeah, this is the only other figure that I got from the line. So I only got these three, uh, this two, these two, including Yondu. So yeah, there you have it. And in case you want to put this awesome detailed figure next to another awesome detailed figure, like a Diamond Select figure, it's not going to work too well, man. He's a little too short. If he was a little taller, definitely yes, but no, I don't think it would work, even though they do share some awesome detail. Yeah, but not going to work, sorry. And here he is next to the Star Wars Black Series First Order Stormtrooper. So there you have it, guys. The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Star-Lord figure from Marvel Legends. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned to Yondu next and then Drax after that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned. And as always, keep watching. Keep being a nerd. Always fun. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this awesome video, man. I really appreciate you guys. And as always, this has been Rubik's Film. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.